Hey guys, this is JP and welcome to Slash Rex Games. Today I'm going to be talking about turret limiting and how you can limit the turret uh, with relation to the base it sits upon. So in this uh, tutorial I've whipped together a base, well a tank base that resembles something of a tank destroyer and then here on top we've got our mob character, evil mob, and he's got a giant gun. Look at that, he's got a much bigger, th well, much bigger turret than he usually has, so he is probably quite chuffed with that. Now, at present, this turret can rotate in any direction, or left and right, as much as it wants, 360 degrees, all the way around. So what we want to do is we want to limit that, so if the tank is facing in this direction, it should only be able to move left and right a certain amount. So even when the tank rotates, it should stick to that, so if the mouse is back here, it'll stop rotating. It's pretty cool, so we're going to do that. Um, to demonstrate this, if I click on the turret and I select a angle, let's try 20, 20 degrees, click OK, notice the turret snaps to the front of the base, and if I move left and right, it can only go to a maximum of 20 or negative 20 degrees with a uh, total relation to the direction the base is facing. Check that out. So if I put my mouse back here, it'll move to the right 20 degrees, and then it'll stop. If I bring it down here, check that out. See? Excellent. So it won't be able to swing around all the way to the back when this limiting is in effect. Now, if you don't know how this... Um, this turret is smoothly rotating. Check out the tutorial that's now in the banner. And I've also got a few other tutorials on turret AI and such like that that you can check out to, I don't know, grow your knowledge on the subject, I guess. So let's jump right into the code and I can show you exactly how we achieve this turret limiting. So this is the turret limiting project file. Uh, you can find it in the description. I uh, will be uploading a studio as well as a GM8 version. They will differ slightly because there is a function that GameMaker 8 does not have that GameMaker Studio now has added um, fairly recently. So there will be slight differences. If you have Studio, go for the Studio download. If you have GameMaker 8 and you haven't upgraded to GameMaker Studio standard for free, uh, which you can do if you ha were unaware of that, check out my tutorial on that. That's pretty cool stuff. Otherwise, um, if you are going to stick to GameMaker 8, there will be a project file just for you so you won't feel left out at all. So basically we've got sprites, we've got the base and we have the turret. Notice that the base has its origin set in the middle whereas the turret has got it offset to the left because that's the center, that's the part that'll spin round and this will spin round. Okay, then in our backgrounds I've just got a black one that says turret limiting to make it look all cool. And fonts, font default, that's just going to give us some debug uh, messages and reading so we can see exactly what the angles are of the base and the turret respectively. Then in objects we have the tank right over there. In a step event it's just got some code to make it rotate left and right depending on whether the A or the D key is pressed. And then we've got some we've got object draw here. This is just gonna it's just gonna draw the um, different angles and stuff so we can see exactly what's happening. And then in our room we've just placed the click room we've placed the tank right here smack bang in the middle. See over there. Okay so that's pretty straightforward. So Firstly, we are going to add an object called object turret. Whoops, turret. Give it the sprite of the turret. I mean, you could probably um, just do the tank and then just draw the turret and then give it some code to do it if you want one object. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to make two. Okay, so we've got the tank and we've got the turret. Then when the tank is created, we're going to say, well, you know, make the turret. So instance create. At the origin, objects, turret, follow up. There we go. So that's going to take care of that. That'll make the turret as soon as the tank is created. Now, once that's done, we can jump right into this turret right over here. Now, firstly, we're going to add the create event and we're going to give it a, uh, well, an angle that it's allowed to rotate in the beginning. Because, I mean, we're going to add a feature so that the player can click and uh, change that just to demonstrate its purposes of the limiting, but when it starts it's going to need a value. So here we're going to say our speed equals 3. If you don't know what this means, check out my smooth rotation tutorial. Um, the link is in the little banner and in the description. And then also we're going to add something called min max angle equals 17.5. So this is in the beginning. We're going to limit it to 17.5 degrees to the left and the right with um, reference to the base, or relation to the base. Okay, so that's over there, starting off with 17.5. So we say OK, that is done. Now, adding the event step, put in some code. Um, first, we're going to tell it to, we're going to make a variable called point dar, which is like point direction equals point direction. And then here we've got, well, x and the y. 
we want that to rotate to the mouse uh, X and mouse Y. All right. We're also going to take into account the smooth rotation, so that's also going to be popped up in here. Firstly, we're going to get a base angle. This is going to be the angle of the tank base. So we're going to say object tank dot image angle, because remember we need to work out um, how much the turret can move to the left and right with respect to the current angle of the base. So once that's that's in there, then we're going to find the difference between the uh, where we want to aim and the base angle, and then we're going to limit it. So we're going to create a variable here called delta. And then we're going to say delta equals max, whoops, max, open a bracket. Then here we're going to say minus, and we're going to grab that over here, min max angle. Go back into the step, plonk it right there. We're going to say min, we open up the bracket again, plonk min max angle in again. And we we'll say comma, angle difference. This is the, well, the function that Gaming Studio has added. Gamic 8 does not have this function, um, but I will be putting um, a script called script angle difference in the Gamic 8 downloadable project file, so you'll have it and everything. You can check that out too. So here we got so far we've got delta equals max, open up the bracket, we've got uh, negative min max angle, then we've got comma uh, min, open bracket, min max angle again, and angle difference. Okay, then angle difference is a function that requires some arguments. Here we can have point direction and base angle. Now we're going to have to close off all of these brackets. Oh, well, I think that should be it. Right, so we're taking the max of, and if you look at the max here at the bottom, it says you can take a max of as many um, arguments as you give it. So we want to either get the max of the negative min-max angle, or and then here we work out the minimum between the min-max angle and the angle difference right over there. So we're getting the max of these two, of that one and that one right over here. So that's going to be our delta. Now, using this delta, we're going to say now rotate towards uh, the computed angle. So we're going to say image angle equals. And then here I'm going to have a script called script rotate. Uh, we'll say a script angle rotate. All right. And this is basically going to take all this information that we've got here, and it's going to calculate the exact image angle that we need. So for now, I'm just going to give it some arguments and then we'll jump into what exactly the script angle rotate uh, does. So we're going to say open it up and we're going to give this the current image angle. We're going to give it the base angle plus delta. That's the second argument and then third argument is going to be our R speed which is the speed at which it is allowed to rotate. I don't really need that one. What is missing? It's going to say, yeah, well, it doesn't know what script angle rotate is, but that's fine. We'll get that. We'll get to it now. Okay, so now let's jump to script angle rotate. So we're giving it the image angle. We're giving it the base angle, which is the angle of the tank base, and then we're giving it this delta. That's what we ca uh, we calculated here. And then also we're giving it the R speed, which we calculated in the, well, we gave it that R speed in the uh, create. So that's all it's familiar code to the whole um, smooth rotations. You know, you got the R speed there. Um, so this is slightly different, but you know, still very similar. So let's jump into what we're going to do for this script. Click OK. We're going to create a script. We're going to give it that name. Then we must remember that we are passing the script three arguments. Arguments being um, what the first one was the angle, the second one was base difference, and rotate speed is the third one. So here we're going to say angle equals argument zero. Then here we've got base difference. This is the difference between the turret's current angle and the angle of the actual base as it is. That's argument one. Remember arguments, well, yeah, arguments start at zero when you're passing to a script. If you don't know what's going on here with the scripts, uh, check out my tutorial on introduction to scripts and how to use them. Okay, so carrying on, we've got here rotate speed equals uh, argument two. Okay, so we've got the angle, we've got the base difference, we've got the rotate speed. Each of which grab an argument, then we're going to work out a calculation. And basically, this calculation is going to take the angle, it's argument one. We're going to add the median, which is the middle value of the negative rotate speed, the positive rotate speed, and again, we're calling angle difference. Right over here, that's that piece of code that's been, or well, that function that's been added to Studio that Gamer K doesn't have. And here we're going to take the base difference. 
and the angle. Check that out. Oh, what's missing? A bracket. So we're taking the angle that we pass it, argument zero. And to that, we are adding the middle value, and we're going to find out what the middle value is, either this one, this one, or the difference between the base difference and the angle. And then all we're going to simply do is return calc. Return that. So if we go back to our turret, back to here, remember, image angle equals, and then whatever this returns. So it's going to equal the calc value that the script angle rotator is going to return, passing at the image angle of the turret, and the base angle and delta, and the R speed. Remember, that's the difference. That's the angle difference. So that's all good there. Done, done, and done. Now, I guess we can add that left press event on the turret just to change its um, its degree of freedom. So if we go in max angle, copy that, go into left pressed, open this up, we're going to say that equals get integer. And we're going to say change limit to what angle? Oh, oops. Over there. And we're going to close that up. And default, just say default 17. See, this uh, get integer uh, function will only get an integer. So if I type in a sentence and then I have a 5 somewhere in there, it'll pass that whole um, input and return 5. That's pretty cool about get integer. Okay, so change limit to one angle, and then it's going to have, so let's put a question mark over here. And it's going to have a default 17, so if we push OK, it's just going to return 17. So that should all be good. Our tank is creating the turret, which is then on creation. Um, it's starting with an R speed, so this is the speed at which it can rotate. Then it's going to have a, a min max angle, that's its limit, 17.5 degrees to the left and right um, with reference to the base. Then in the step, we're going to rotate towards the mouse. We're telling it that's its destination, wherever the mouse is. And we're going to get the current image angle of the base right over there. Then we're going to work out this variable called delta, which is going to be the max uh, between a certain amount of uh, variables. In this case, we've got the negative min-max angle. Then we've got the minimum uh, between the min-max angle and the difference between the point direction and the base angle. So that's going to put into delta. Then we're going to set the current image angle of the turret to whatever the script returns, giving it the, uh, the three arguments. Image angle, second argument is the, um, that's the difference, see, base angle plus delta. And uh, the third is the speed at which you can rotate. If we go to that script over here, you can see it's grabbing those three arguments. I mean, you don't have to give each one a variable. I mean, you can just plunk argument one, blah, 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 and you won't exactly know what's going on. And now, once we've done this calculation, we're going to return this variable calc, which is then going to be plunked straight into the image angle of the turret, completing the uh, limiting. So now that we've got this in our room, notice we don't have to put the turret in there. It's going to be created as soon as that base is created. So let's try this out. So as you can see on start here, it says 17.5. When the turret is created, that's its uh, default restriction. So if we click on it, we can change this to something like 20. There, notice it goes 20 now. If we click it again, we can change it to something really small like 5. And with respect to the direction of the base, it can only move 5 degrees left and right. See that? And if we put the mouse back here, it's not going to go there. It's going to go either left or right and then stop. Pretty cool. So that wraps up the turret limiting tutorial. If you like this video, please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. You can also like my Facebook page. You can find all the links for the project files um, for Studio as well as Gamer Age right in the description. And if you're feeling rather generous, you can also buy me a beer or a coffee sometime. Links also in the description and the banners across the screen. And then, as always, stay tuned for more of the very best Game Maker tutorials, and I'll see you guys next time for another great one. Cheers for now.